Is the market really cooling down? The answer is yes. Blair Ball with the Ball and Real Estate team, and thank you so much for watching this week's Phoenix Real Estate Market Update. As always, using the Cronford Report, a local report put out by an organization that we as realtors have access to, to know what the market's doing at all times. Let's get right into it. So, the first uh, statistic that I'd like to point out and data point is what's called the Cromford Market Index. At around 100 is a balanced market. Below 100, buyer's market. Above 100, seller's market. That number peaked in around March or April at about 525 and has continued to decline every week and now it's at 392. So is the market cooling down? Yes. Does it mean it's cold? Absolutely not. To give you some perspective, last month it was 441, last quarter 494, last year 261, and two years ago 172. So even if we continue to drop and get to 172 or 110 or whatever, the market's likely going to continue to go up pricing wise because even two years ago at 172, which is a seller's market, we were appreciating at about eight to 10% annually. So uh, that statistic is falling. Prices are still going up. And what, what compiles that statistic, the Cromford Market Index, one of those categories is active listings, a number that many of us have hoped would rise so there's more homes to look at and check out and available out there, right? That number currently is at 6689, last month was 5115, last year 8795, and two years ago 14,772. So we still have quite a ways even just with active listings before we're anywhere close to two years ago, which by the way, is still about a halfway point for what we would consider balanced for active homes in the Phoenix market. Listings under contract, 11,132. Last year was 13,605. And two years ago, 11,639. So we're dropping for the amount of listings under contract. Active listings are going up two trends that we like to see so we get back to normal at some point, if there is ever a normal, right? Sales per month, 97.22. Last quarter, 10,366. Last year, 99.53. Two years ago, 95.63. So the sales are dropping a little bit, but still very much on track to where they were a couple years ago. Uh, and one other category to remember here, listing success rate. The amount of listings that are on the market that end up selling. That number has dropped a little bit over the past couple months, now at 91.4, last month 92.2, and then two years ago, 84.1. So we've drastically come up in the amount of homes that are on the market that are selling uh, from years ago, but currently looking at last quarter, last month, numbers come down a little bit. So as I said earlier, what does this mean? It means the market is cooling down, but by no means does that market term mean that prices are falling. In my opinion, that's gonna be possibly a couple years before we even could remotely see that. At this point, I believe the rate of appreciation is going to continue to come down. So instead of it going up 20% this year, maybe it's 15 and the next year it's 10, but it's still gonna to continue to go up. So, still a good time to sell, great time to sell. If you're looking to sell, the sooner the better. And then if you're looking to buy, in my opinion, still a good time to buy. Rates are still really, interest rates are still really good and prices are still good. They're probably gonna keep going up and inventory's rising. So there's more homes to choose from. So altogether, it's a great time to buy and sell. So, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate it. Uh, tune in every week for a new market update. Uh, visit my YouTube channel, subscribe there. Uh, thanks for watching. Have a wonderful day and stay safe out there.